think sometimes with fishing, you learn more from catching and today was one of those days. Retro, this is the Daiwa HPB. It was a really good rod about 30 years ago. Missing. It's missing about eight inches off the top. <laughs> so I don't know whether I'll be able to cast properly with it. My first ever decent rod. Recognize that one? It's a Triton Speedmaster. Nice to have it under the armpit to about to about there. It's about right, maybe a bit wider. You can put it on the, the butt of the rod as well. Um, but I think this is going to be a bit of a comedy cast. What with that? Well, probably about that much missing off the top. Going to do a practice cast because it's all it's quite an old ripple and i don't know how that tip's going to work so you can watch this and have a laugh maybe Fresh worms and a cascade. Good flow of water today. These have been gutted, these worms. I'm firming up a little bit, to be honest. Swing. All I'm doing here is tipping the lead away, keeping my arms sort of quite wide, swing the lead back, punch it through. There are better YouTube videos available of casting. Um, we're getting a reasonable bend out of this rod. The release was quite good on this one. Reasonable timing. Don't really compress this rod too much. But yeah, if you're here for tips on casting, there's certainly better casters than me. You don't need to cast far for bass. And the other setup today is going to be the Synetic Rex tail. Uh, Will fish five ounces is going to be quite a strong current out there today. Uh, but it is a lighter rod, nice sort of sensitive tip. We've set up a little bit further back because obviously the tide's coming in. So we've got big spring tides and the wind's off the land. And that makes a real difference to the water clarity. This will clear out quite quickly, I think. Already seeing it shift a bit. Nice when the wind drops. Well, I don't know if you saw it on Instagram, we did a bit of foraging. So this was the day before. We'd had a big storm come in a few days ago. Uh, washed a load of stuff in. Seagulls are after something there, look. I don't know if you can see that, all right. Lots of cockles washed up. 
loads of them down here. Queenie, <laughs> the big ones. It's enough there for some bait. So that's the contents of a gaper clan there. You can see. Again, that's something we could use as bait. And also, you should get some fish coming in on the feed, flounders and bass perhaps. And they'll be gorging and all that stuff that's been smashed up by the storm, uh, which will include the lugworm we've got, and we might tip that bait as well uh, with some of those razors, some of the razor meat and the gaper clam. Maybe some cockles in there as well, just to mix it up a little bit. Things are maybe not quite as interesting as they look here. <laughs> I kept quiet, but there's something on the line here. And my first thoughts that I've got a big lump of seaweed. You see how I'm holding the rod? Uh, well, it's not a big lump of seaweed, <laughs> but it's not a big fish either. You can just tell it's not a fish that's providing all the weight here. And I brought it in really don't want that leader not to snap this is a first cast as well and it's not snagged and it is just coming in slowly sometimes you just got to drag it and pull it rather than pin that line but i got to about here and although I know this wasn't a big fish, it just had a little rattle. <laughs> so what would you be thinking? I just thought this is a bit weird. I thought I'd maybe have a conger eel here attached to some weed or something. We're about to find out what it was that was causing all that weight on the line. Retrieved in someone else's line. I've taken that off, and there's still three three leads back, three leads left. Now, just behind that yellow rod on the sea is a great crested grebe. What does that mean for us when we're fishing? Well, it's working the changing current, I think, between the two groins. It's only about 30 metres out or so, but you can see, and it's really helpful that where this is fishing as you can see here in this footage and actually this footage was filmed by Jack Perks he's got a really interesting project on at the moment called Britain's Hidden Fish Project uh, I'll leave a link up there because it's well worth checking out where there's smaller fish there's bigger fish and I think it's particularly on this spot where the sand meets the shingle So lugworm, but <laughs> can you tell the difference between the types as in some of those are salted, that's obviously salted, that was my version, that's pretty rubbish. This is another salted version, someone in somebody that knows what they're doing, Tony's tackle. Uh, this is a fresh gutted worm. This is a fresh gutted worm, and then this one here is a fresh gutted worm that's been in the fridge for 10 days. This one here 
uh, Lord knows. No, I think that one, this, this one was left in the tackle box. So it's two weeks out of the fridge. There you go. What's wrong with us? Interested in worms? Well, maybe it's just me. <laughs> On with the fishing, I think. side of the spool. I still spread it out when you cast. Hang on. Just want that over there really. So it doesn't rip my thumb off. The tide has slackened off a bit now. We were punching into that way and we were having a lot of problems. As soon as we lifted the lead it was shooting across. Just starting to go the other way now, so mid tide up, just starting to flow that way, just starting to flow that way through there, and a lot of current makes it a bit more interesting normally for the bass. I really don't like flat, calm conditions. So, have you been out fishing? Um, let us know if you have. I appreciate we're still in a lockdown staying local, fishing local, but hopefully you'll be out soon. Well, <laughs> you get those bits with fishing where you just think, am I, doing any am I doing anything right? We've had a few rocklin and we've had those whiting, but I want something a little bit more interesting really. I don't know, should I have had ragworm? Should I have got some tiny little white rag, something like that, that usually works. Uh, fishing can be frustrating. But that said, you know, I appreciate I appreciate there's a lot of people who can't fish, can't come out to their local marks. So I shouldn't complain really. But just sometimes you just think, I want a fish. <laughs> I want a decent fish. But you never know. Now watch closely. Look at that Rex tail rod. That's not a whiting and that's definitely not a rockling.
lovely. Well, we know what that is. Wide mouth on it. Beautiful bass. So that bass was on the pulley rig. So I'm gonna just do the same again, I think. Put the pulley on, see what we get. Getting, um, we're getting little bites on this one. But because it's missing that tip, Bite indication's not that great. But like fishing with a giant boat rod. I'll have a look though. It's got, it's got a couple of smaller hooks on it. It's sometimes worth leaving. And look at this, t-shirt. Obviously I've just lifted that off the seabed. So obviously I've just lifted that off the seabed. It's created a little bit of movement. I'm just gonna leave it there. Just see if whatever that was comes back. I should have bought my sunglasses. Storm clouds. So we're still getting taps on this rod. Maybe I've got taps on the other one. I'm all like now caught that bass. I'm a little bit more focused. <laughs> Ting. Ting tacks, have I mentioned that before? I think I agreed 50p to the RNLI for every whiting. Um, I put it in the catch records, thanks Kevsha. Um, I put it in my catch records, but I think I probably owe the RNLI about £3,000 at the moment. That's a whiting, not as desirable as that bass, but still, I will put this back, but to be honest, not likely to survive, unfortunately. The conditions just changed really quickly. Now we've got a jumper on. Now it's raining. <laughs> Little bluey on there. Be happy with that today. Like, subscribe, all that sort of thing. Press the um, like the bell icon, then you'll get notification. I try and keep these videos within a couple of weeks, so if I catch something, it won't be more than two weeks ago. Right, let's go and get dry. And I wonder whether, oui, 